What's up? Today we're going to learn Just the Two of Us by Bill Withers. This is a really funky song with a cool muted strumming pattern, so it's going to be a lot of fun to play. If you're a complete beginner, you're going to want to start with my crash course by clicking right here, and then come back to this video afterwards. For everyone else, let's get into it. This riff that's actually really cool, and it's a ton of fun to play. I was really happy when I started playing this one. It's got a great funk groove to it, so you're going to love it once you learn it. You can play this part for the entire song, but I'm going to show you a variation that you're going to put into a different part of the song later. But first, we're going to start with this. All right, so we're going to start off on a C chord. And the strumming pattern is going to be... So you're going to play down, down, up, and then put your palm right against the strings to stop them completely, then down, up, down, up. So... So work on that, just try it slowly until you can play that smoothly and you got the muting and not muting kind of coordinated. And then try and speed it up gradually, but make sure you get the, the rhythm down first because it's gonna sound best if these mutes are just fully muted. You don't have like anything ringing out. So. So I tend to personally prefer right hand muting, but you can also mute with the left hand by just taking your chord off and just resting your fingers on the strings there too. So you can mute with your right or your left or kind of some combination of both. I find I tend to have my palm down, but also just kind of loosen my fingers off here so that the chord only sort of rings. So what I do there is I'm muting here and I'm getting really lazy with my left hand so that you get a nice clean mute. So once you can do that, once you got kind of the feel for that, then we can add in our other chords. So we're gonna start from a C, and then we're gonna to move to a B7. Then you're gonna to move to an E minor. And then the last part of this section is D to just the low note of a G. So just the third fret of the sixth string. And I'll show you that in a second, but the first three chords are gonna be this. So that's the first three chords, and then you're gonna do a So you're doing down, down, up on D minor, and then just playing this note before you switch back. So that whole run through is. So that's one run through of the strumming pattern. So the second run through, instead of doing this D minor to G, we're just gonna play E minor twice. So that second half, That's the second half, and when you put it with the first half, you've got the entire strumming pattern. So all together slowly, here's what we've got. And that's the whole strumming pattern. You work it up to full speed, and then you've got something pretty funky. If you want to just stop there, you can play that part for the entire song, but the chorus is a bit sweeter and softer. So I'm going to show you this alternate variation that's a little bit sweeter and softer to kind of match the chorus a little bit better. This one's actually using the same chords as the previous pattern. We're just moving them higher up the neck so that they're a little higher, a little softer, and a little bit smoother. And we're also making the major seventh and minor seventh chords just to add that little bit of spice and twang into your playing. So we're doing the exact same strumming pattern. We're 
just switching up the chords. So we're gonna start here on this C major seven, then switch to a B seven, then just pop up one string to an E minor seven. So there's our first three chords. And then we're going to do a little chromatic run, which chromatic means just move down one fret, keeping this exact same form. We're moving from this E minor 7 down two frets, and then we're going to end on a G7. So what that sounds like in playing is... So you're just playing these two once. Just a quick little run. And there's the first half. Then the second half, which is going to follow the same chords as the other version of this, it starts on yet another version of C major 7. So you can hear how it's the same chord as up here just in a slightly different voicing, which means just different spot on the fretboard. So you're starting on the C major seven, then moving back to your B seven, and then up to your E minor seven. Played twice. So that second half is. And right there is your full chord progression. So all together, that's gonna be. And that right there is that entire section. So you can play that in the choruses to give a nice softer, sweeter feel. And you can strum that lighter too to make it soft and smooth. So instead of the harder stuff over here, you can just do a nice, just keep it nice and soft and smooth so that you capture the vibe of the song. And with that, you can play the entire song. This one's a fun, funky song to play. So if you practice this a bit, it should be really good. Please hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. It really does help. And make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can get notified of all my newest uploads and you can learn a lot of cool new guitar stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.